Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode two of Let's Play Disciples Liberation. Blindly, might I add. Uh, gonna get right into episode two here after episode one. I do start the games on my desktop like that. I don't know why. It's just a thing I do. Um, I like to make sure that I'm recording before going into the game in case there's any funny business. Oh, look at this. We have no audio. That's one downfall of streaming this game for my PC. I actually have to open it twice, which is even more, which is even worse. There we go. <laughs> so you have to watch me open the game twice go through the intro, go through the loading of the save, and then we get to the game. But I think it kind of adds a little something, honestly, to the uh, presentation. I don't know. It's certainly not professional, but it's professional in its own kind of way. We're here. We've snuck into the church, I guess. Uh, Sebastian lies ahead. Let's go ahead and see what he's up to. Sebastian, the old priest serving the church of St. Darchild, looks up from his work to you. He's sorting through children's clothing, all of it clean and well-made, and marked to be sent to orphanage acro orphanages across the city. He's hardly the monster your contract made him out to be, until he snarls at you, that is. The rat who's been crawling our sewers reveals herself. There's a price on your head. Someone wants you dead, and whoever it is, they're willing to pay. A lot. The priest gestures to the shadows as guards emerge. You are surrounded. Of course. And you're here to warn me. No. To look you in the eye before I fulfill my contract. Know that if it isn't me, it will be another. Let's hope you fight as honorably. Oh dear. Surrounded, trapped. If ever there was a time to draw one sword, it's now. Oh. We're supposed to lose this fight, right? Conquer. This is either an important battle that is tied to a quest for the progression of the story, or your squad is not considered strong enough to conquer the opposing force. Oh. Oh, survive three rounds. Against these three. Against these five. Okay. Battle strategy of the backline system. Every unit in your active squad can be placed in the backline or frontline. Frontline units use their frontline abilities and can be controlled during their turn. However, they can be targeted and defeated. Backline units use their backline ability. They act normally each turn and cannot be targeted or defeated directly. If all of your frontline units are defeated, the fight is lost. Carefully choosing backline and frontline units for your squad is an essential part of any battle strategy. Weird. Um, what is this? Orb of Regeneration. Restores 25% of max HP and grants regen. I'll sneak past them. You need that. Come here and then come Not back. And you come back and <laughs> hope for the best. I will carve his sword on you. Hi, Father. Shine a light. We'll go ahead and check out the Paladins next turn. It won't be hard to survive three rounds. Make your stand here. Very cool looking paladins. Very cool looking soldiers as well. Breaking the line. Sebastian did not act. Okay, let's check out the uh, paladins. The paladin blesses his own armor and baptizes it in the blood of the impure. It is his temple and it is he is its congregation. Very cool looking. Protected and motivated because of something. Divine Smite unleashes the High Father's rash on, wrath on up to three enemies, dealing physical damage. Divine Smite deals 25% more damage to undead and demon. Holy Inspiration calls forth the love of the High Father, increasing morale and allies surrounding the paladin, grants motivated and protected to the targets. Protected reduces damage of the next incoming attack by 50%. Motivated is plus one to morale. Passive is taunt. Divine Smite has a 50% chance to inflict taunted on the target. This chance increases to 100% if the target is afflicted with blinded. 
confused or weakened. And back line ability morale boost grants motivated to human units until the end of the battle. Okay. Whoops. And Sebastian cannot target him. Okay. All right. So you're going to go ahead and your movement is four. One, two, three, four. You're going to be able to hit him no matter what. So go into stealth. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. He'll survive three rounds, no problem. And come down here. See me. Avi. I don't know if Avi has to survive. She can literally go right okay. here and hope for the best. Walk in his light. I will carve his sword on you. Taunted. Hi, Father. Shine a light. Oh, okay. Mounting an offensive. They didn't play that. Impressive. Well, they played that as best as they could. Third round to survive. You come down here. Ah, I didn't mean to get that orb. I wish I could undo. Um, and turn. Oh, she's taunted, so she's acting on her own. Must not break. Guide my blade. Well, we're gonna survive the three rounds, I think. Die today. I call his holy oh, fury. They have two oranges. Glory and honor. <sighs> Glory! Ah, something's wrong! Yo! We're losing! Your vision blurs. A pain shoots through your right arm to your fingertips. So severe, it feels like your skin might burst apart. And then it does. Ah, help me! From your flesh, darkness emerges like a swirling black pearl. In it, you see pure night, and the night sees you. A corona of molten light crackles forth from the pitch. Impossible! Stand back, fools! All of you, back! It's a portal! Go! Now! You and Orion leap through the sweltering heat into the void and are immediately swallowed whole. Behind you, the portal closes, leaving no trace other than the black scars on the stone floor and fear in the hearts of all. Cool. From the cosmic tear, you are hurtled bewilderingly forward. Never before had mortal feet touched this soil. Nor mortal eyes seen this ancient sight. Sprawling, ancient, longing to be rediscovered. Until now, this is your true home. Huh. This is your fate. Pretty cool. Denizens of Nevendar are deeply religious. Most would rather die than speak ill of the gods. Orion follows you as you approach the Forgotten City. Plus 3,000 gold, plus 1,000 iron and wood. At its gates, a word is carved in foreign glyphs. It reads, Elian, which you know to mean City of Sacred Angels, though you've never been able to read such markings before. Abandoned and ancient. Uh, it could be dwarven. Mother told me about places like this. Mother used to tell stories about such places. It's strangely familiar. Like I've been here before. And these glyphs match the glyphs on my armor. You're worried about your belt, Abby? You just ripped a hole in space. We're lost in some forgotten city. I'm sorry. I just haven't seen you do that since we were kids. It scared me. Huh. I know. I couldn't control it then, but this time was different. Ori, I can't shake the feeling. It was fate. The word lingers as you carry forward. Fate. 
Let's look around, but be on your guard. Just because this place looks abandoned doesn't mean it is. Your mind races as you explore the landscape. Amongst the rubble, you see ghosts of marketplaces, forges, homes, and families. How incredible it must have been once. Into the twilight, show details. Talk to Orion inside Ilion. Welcome to the legendary city of Ilion, your home. You'll be able to make it your own and upgrade it during your journey across Nevendar. Right now you have access to the castle and a building of each of the four factions. In the faction buildings you can recruit units for your army. Once this is done, go to the castle and speak to Orion to start your journey. Recruitment buildings. New spell blueprint, waning bolt, word of divine power, summon lesser devil. Hmm. During your journey you'll acquire blueprints. Each acquired blueprint allows you to construct a specific building in Elyon. Each building's construction will require specific resources and gold. Upgrading Elyon is essential as every building will grant powerful benefits. The key benefit is that the new buildings allow you to recruit new units for your army. Hmm. Heart of the Abyss. Recruit units, train units, empty spot. Graveyard. Must be for undead. Temple. Stone ring. Let's see the empty spot. We have no blueprints for those. Blacksmith or a marketplace. Um, Elyon's Vault. Can't explore. Portal from Elyon Return. Can't. I'm going to start with the Stone Ring. Recruit units. Um, requires Castle Tier 2. Requires new standing friendly with the Elven Alliance. To upgrade, I take it. Tier 1 bonus, recruit and train shadow casters. Shadow caster. Hmm. Five hundred fifteen gold, fifteen wood. New level. It's maxed. Um, let's check them out. For epochs, shadow casters trained in the mana dance, channeling its bright powers around them as they bash their heels into the earth. Only after the schism did they learn to corrupt the very mana that powers their magic. Shadow Bolt. Range of 5 in a line. That's pretty cool. Conjures a bolt of dark energy, dealing unholy damage. <clears throat> Shadow Embrace. Spreads the dark power of Galleon's Might, restoring HP to one ally. Grants Resilient to the target, plus 10% to all resistances. Cooldown 2 rounds. And Backline Ability Shadow Armor. Grants unholy protection and evasive to allies until the end of the battle. 15% Unholy Resistance, 10% Dodge Any Attacks. And we don't have an Emotion Shard, I guess. Alright, let's phase out. Phasing out a building will remove it from Elyon. No, I want to just X. Then we'll go to the Temple. Um, we can train and recruit soldiers. Um, they have more power, more HP, less movement. They do their sword swing, shield bash, and cover. Shield bash slams an enemy with the soldier's shield, dealing physical damage, inflicts confused on the target if the target's below 50% HP. Confused is minus 15% to initiative, initiative and 15% chance to miss one attacking. That's pretty good. That just slashes the target with circular strike, dealing physical damage. Backline ability is cover, grants protected and resilient to the ally with the lowest HP. Cover won't affect the target who already has protected and resilient. Okay. There are all arounders that seem pretty good. There's the graveyard. We can recruit zombies. Their backline ability is Rotting Stench, strikes the target with the lowest percentage of HP, dealing unholy damage and inflicting poison. Belching Rot covers enemies with acidic bile, dealing unholy damage, inflicts poison on targets that are below 50%, and claw attack. They have pretty good power. Um, the Undead Hordes. They go into some interesting thing. Bone Golem, Death Knight, Skeleton Warrior, Draco Lich. And then we have Heart of the Abyss. We 
can recruit possessed the berserkle infernal knight Aranes overlord let's check out the possessed every postulant begins their soul journey to Bethrazen as a possessed killing and causing destruction is their penance for any remaining compassion only by causing suffering for others will they atone legions of the damned um weapon swing strikes with a sharp sickle dealing physical damage Wild Swing hits up to three targets, dealing physical damage, inflicts demoralize on the targets if their HP is below 50%. Backline and ability, Demonic Strength, grants physical might to allies until the end of battle, plus 25% physical damage. That's pretty cool. So how many units can I actually recruit? It's not letting me look at units right now. I guess because I don't have any. Let's go ahead and maybe... Let's see, you had the uh, healing. The magic that does five in a line. And shadow armor. Let's go ahead and recruit a shadow caster. Actually, let's save here first to make sure... In case we screw something else. Uh... There's units. How many can we have? Frontline, 2 out of 10. Backline, 0 out of 3. Companions, 1 out of 2. Uh, yeah, let's... Well, actually, can we quick save here? F5? I don't think it works here. So let's make a hard save. In the second slot. So we can undo any mistakes. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit a shadow caster. Arctic Dryad, Winter Witch, Ice Giant. For the further tiers. Let's recruit a shadow caster. Battle strategy units. A building in Elyon has produced a unit. You can find this unit in the squad management screen. To have it join you in battle, you must add it to your active squad. Conversely, you can keep the unit in reserve to use as a garrison. To level up the unit, you can train it in the building that produced it. It can it can train up to Aviana's current level. Training costs gold, though, so build and train your units wisely. Okay, so we've got one unit. <clears throat> um, zombie. You know, the possessed are actually kind of interesting. <clears throat> I guess I can go ahead and just mix as many units as I want. Um, I want to get two possessed. One for the backline ability of increased 25% physical might. One for the frontline ability. So let's recruit a possessed. Recruit another possessed. And let's go ahead and recruit, recruit a soldier. Also does a lot of physical. Do I have to open the spell book? Um, to use any... Okay, Waning Bolt, ready for research. Unleases projectiles of pure cosmic energy, dealing both divine and unholy damage, inflicts weakened on the target, which is minus 15% to power and all resistances. Um, ready for research. Divine Spell of Word of Divine Power. Inspires targets, strengthening their divine damage. Grants divine might and motivated to the target. Divine might is plus 25%. Divine mat damage and plus one to morale. Unholy summon lesser devil. Conjures a lesser, lesser devil at target location. After five rounds, the lesser devil is destroyed and does not go to the graveyard. Requirement, one unit on the battlefield must be afflicted with confused or burning. Huh. It takes 25 mana. Okay, we can't research from here, can we? No. Um, still don't have access to the skill tree. Let's check out our units. Let's put one possessed in the back line. So does this update there? Abilities plus 25% damage. It doesn't show damage. So I just assume that it's working. Um, 
put a shadow caster right there. Let's put a possess. What? Oh. I got all those characters and I can't put them in because leadership. Oh. So it's just one character? Is that it? Yeah. What's your backline ability? It's the ally with the lowest HP. Can we put you back there? And we can put plenty bat in the back. Okay, we can put two in the back. Save. Um. Can I get rid of you? Trash you? Permanently remove this unit from your army. Any equipped shard will be returned to your inventory. Do I get my gold back? <laughs> 2815, I don't think so. Alright, now let's go inside the castle. Speak to companions, train companions in special units, research spells, gather resources, reassign skills. Elion's castle. The castle is the place to perform a variety of actions, which we just saw. Gather resources from captured buildings in the world. Come back regularly. Train your companions to increase their level. To discuss the next step in your adventure, speak with Orion. Uh, let's go ahead and research some spells. Waning Bolt, five and a line. We have a Shadow Caster. Increase Divine. What does it cost? It has no requirements, but somebody has to be confused or burning. That's tough. Probably just go with Waning Bolt. Blueprint acquired requires Castle, 500 gold. Um, sure. Spell waning bolt. That's all I'm gonna research right now. Gather resources. Gold, there's nothing. Iron, nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to gather. Train companions and special units. He's max, so he can't train. Uh, reassign skills. What is reassign skills? Oh, dang. What in the world? Alright, let's just go back. I'm not going to reassign these skills. Meet companions. Cool. Alright. Talk to me, bro. I'm going to light a cigarette. Weeks pass. You train tirelessly, tirelessly in the courtyards and under the pavilions, slowly honing your power. By night, you spend your restless hours exploring the castle grounds. One night, tonight, Orion follows you to the grand structure spiraling up from the rubble of this forgotten land. Inside, you discover a great hall enshrining a stone tablet. Upon it, a familiar sight. Hmm. Just hitting my water bottle here. My mouth is a little dry. Look, a map of Nevendar. But if it's accurate, the city's at the center of the world. How has no one found this place? You look down at the sprawling map of Nevendar, dreaming of what this old castle might have been or what it could be. Hey, Avi, back when we first got here, you said something that's been playing in my head every night. At the city gates, you said it was fate. What's our fate? To liberate the world. As that power was pulsing through me, I closed my eyes and could see this place. We'd turned it into a refuge for all the people of Nevendar. You've wanted to protect everyone since we were kids. We've been scraping by, going from one low-paying contract to the next. Now we're trapped here. We're almost out of food and water. Right, but you've been honing your power. Any day now you'll be able to control it and we'll get out of here. Or we stay. This could be the home we've always wanted. It needs a little work, but imagine it. Orion looks around you, inspecting the hall. Yes, he seems to say to himself, as he places his hands on his hips. This will do nicely. Fine. Fine. Yes, fine. But the Empire's going to be looking for us, and they always find what they're looking for, even here. 
then we hire protection, which means we're going to need allies. And money. And ale. Lots of ale. Hey, I was already sold. Where do we? When do we start? You point his attention to the map. With cunning, any of the denizens of Nevendar would make a strong ally, but where do you start? Um... Questions. What about the Unholy Legion? The Empire One is dead, understandable, so we could go to their enemies, the Legion of the Damned. I've never seen a demon in person before. Probably how they want it. They only accept outsiders in Hurik. If we want allies, that's where we should start. I can't believe we're doing this. What do you think of the Hordes? The Empire would never expect us to make allies with the undead. What do you think? Avi, Queen of Skulls, it suits you. I've been called worse. All undead worship their goddess Mortis above any other. But if there were a way to get them on our side, they'd make an intimidating ally. If this map is correct, Greyleaf's remote enough that we could get to go there unseen. They say Mortis's necromancers once called the wood their home. Who do we trust in the Empire? We're enemies of the Empire by now, which means enemies of the Empire are suddenly our friends. You thinking what I'm thinking? The Castle Hale? Lair of the Mercenary King. The gates are open to all. If anyone wants to join our band, that's where they'd be. Where do we find the Elven Clans? We're displaced, on the run. The clans could sympathize, but where do we find them? Word is the Elves were spotted in the Whitelands. Old Dwarven territory? Those mountains are treacherous. No more so than Elves, but something tells me you think it's worth the risk. Um, I've made my decision. I'll keep training my power. When it's ready, we'll head for... Nevendar's factions. Aviana and Orion start as a neutral faction, but as you progress through your adventure, certain choices improve or worsen your standing with Nevendar's factions. The better your standing, the more benefits you reap. Your standing affects the units you can recruit, the equipment you can use, and the rewards you earn. It also impacts how certain denizens of Nevendar react to you and how your adventure will end. Choose your alliances wisely. Into the Twilight Complete, 750 XP, a skill point. Level 2? Hmm. We're actually going to head to the White Lands. Well, let's look at all of them. Former Lair of the Dwarves, the White Lands span from the mountain. Gahaltarod, Gahaltarod to the Fields of Nought. With the Dwarven people long dead, the White Lands are now home to Elves. Difficulty hard. Greyleaf, the forests of the Lost were once the home of Nevendar's necromancers, though the roads through the wood are now essential highways leading to Verontuor. Few survived the journey, difficult normal. Hurik, amongst the cit citadels of Hurik, the denizens celebrate the festival of the Molten Moons. Though back Analia, they seek to rush her in three days of night and crown a new champion of the pits. I guess that's demons. The Plains of Widows. Once the seat of the Empire, the Castle Hale is now an outpost home to rebel steeds and warriors for hire. Difficulty easy. Uh, it's gonna be hard. We're already playing on hard. Uh, let's try Greyleaf, the undead. No, let's try the Whitelands. Let's go for it. And now, I don't understand that we're playing on hard difficulty overall, so this is going to be even harder. You've heard tales of winds that could freeze and shatter a mortal in one gust, avalanches that tumble from the clouds for weeks without end. How pleasantly unexpected, then, for you to arrive here, the rolling expanse of sprawling meadow. Hey, Ori. You sure this is the White Lands? I feel like we made a wrong turn somewhere. This is the Fields of Knot. That is the White Lands. Orion points dramatically upwards to a rock face encased in ice and turrets of snow leading higher than you can see. What is this place? I know these mountains were home to the Dwarven King Sturmir Thunderhammer, but that's not exactly helpful to us at the moment. The dwarves called that mountain Geholterat. Galleon's forces stormed it and felt the few dwarves that survived Mortis' attacks. Huh. Then here they remained, living in the strongholds of the dead. That's a bit dark. Wow. I'll say! <laughs> the elves. Where are the elves? Considering this is one of the only known elven strongholds, I just assumed there'd be more, you know, elves. 
just because we can't see them, it doesn't mean they're not close by and watching us. Do we know who their leader is? Have you heard who leads the people here? Only rumors. There's an old, old story about a princess, a baby, that the people worship. But I don't even know how elves work. I mean, aren't they born fully formed? We better start climbing. There'll be no alliance so long as the elves are up there and we're down here. Let's climb. Hmm. To return to Ilion, Aviana must cast a portal. Press the portal button in the lower left corner to do so. Note that portals can only be cast outside. They do not work in dungeons or in combat. Hmm. It's fields of not. Escape show details. Arriving at the base of Gahaltarat, the largest mountain in the White Lands, you're struck by how strange it is. It is old, as mountains are, but its otherworldly appearance almost looks created instead of naturally forming. But it's no matter. The elves would make a key ally for Elyon, and they deserve your focus. Like you, they are displaced, eager to claim lands as their own, and currently hostile toward the Vale. Unlike you, they have a preference for shooting intruders in the throat. Here's hoping it doesn't come to that. Hmm. Okay, this is where we came in. Um, what did I want to do? Find the leader of the White Lands Elves. We can always return and maybe head somewhere else. Fields of Knot. Seemingly from the sun, an arrow lands squarely between your feet. Then a small troop of ancient elves stands from the tall grass. The Fields of Knot are the territory of my pack. One more step is a step into your grave. Nice of you to give us a warning shot, at least. I'll pay to pass. We don't intend to stay. We need to get through and scale the mountain. We'll pay for safe passage. You see us as beggars? We want your bodies buried under the saplings of our blood trees. Huh. Battle. Level 2 Feral Elf Warrior. The wilds of the world grow in the heart of elven warriors. The raw power of mana courses through their veins. Their fight cannot be tamed by any other than the elven god himself. Slice and dice. Slashes twice with sharp blades, dealing physical damage. 79 power is pretty high. Precise strike. Cast cuts twice with precision, dealing physical damage, inflicts bleeding on the target if both strikes hit. Backline ability grants motivated to melee allies until the end of battle. And a scout. Hawk-eyed and violent as Galleon's coldly violent temper, Elven scouts are the first line of defense of reclaimed territory. Because of their ferocity, they also tend to be the last. Also 79 power, 15% crit chance. Quick shot, fires an arrow with celerity, dealing physical damage. Range is a cone. Frozen arrow, summons arrows of pure icy energy, dealing primal damage, inflicts chilled on the target if target is below 50% HP. Chilled is minus one to movement, minus 15% to initiative, removed by burning. Frost arrow's backline ability imbues the ranged weapon of allies with ice, inflicts chilled on the targets when attacking with a ranged unit. Hmm. All right, we are ready. Okay, we did get that physical bonus. What do we have here? Seal of Fire deals primal damage equal to 25% of match at max HP and inflicts burning to the first unit moving over this tile. Seal of Weakness inflicts weakened to the first unit. Alright, who do we have here? Orion. He's level 2, but we didn't get to pick any abilities for him yet. We have to return. Orb of Resistance grants Resilient. Um... Uh... Let's nice. come here. And get into stealth. Feel my blades bite! Oh, dang, he took me out of stealth and rocked me. That was pretty clever. Mm. You can move here, but you're gonna get attacked. Oof. Oh, no. I can't step there. I'll be weakened to flank him. Uh. Come 
Lightning Strike. Resilient and protected by the soldier. Only has... Okay, it does have an ability point. Um, Shadow Bolt. Nice. Only 56 damage, but that's okay. And you end your turn. With a movement point. E Hmm, bleeding. Round two. You've got to come here. And debilitating strike. Weakened. You've got to heal. Her. Is it out of range? Oh, it's out of range. Okay, um. Come here. Heal. Die. Flanking again. Slice and dice. Attacking a fellow elf. Oh, and he's moving. Can you move there? No. Um. Move there. Debilitating. Your mind. strike. Wow, killed them. Graveyard. When units are defeated, they are sent to the graveyard. To see which units are in the graveyard, interact with the graveyard icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Multiple spells and abilities interact with units in the graveyard, such as resurrection spells. Be careful. If any units in the graveyard, when the battle ends, they will die. Contain units that have died and been sent to the graveyard. Scout. So he's gonna die. Let me come up here and attack you. Weakened. Slice and dice. Did not do much. Um. Oh, now he's in trouble. Because we're gonna bring her up. Holding the line. To flank. Oh, but not much we can do. Not much of a flank with the shadow bolt, I guess. Oh yeah, I flanked him. Very good. Let's go into stealth. Feel the snake's bite. And then debilitating strike. My blade fight. Oops. Slow motion kill. 817. Hmm. Very cool. So we had to fight our way in. Everyone alright? I stepped on an arrow, which really hurts. But other than that, yes, we're fine. You? We need to find a, a way to get them to listen. Elves clearly don't like outsiders. We need to find a way to convince them we mean no harm. In the meantime, don't let your guard down. Okay. What do we have here? Wood. Okay, we got 500 wood. Let's hit the health fountain, I guess. I guess you have to be somewhat strategic about using the health fountains. Oh, we can turn the map with Q&E. And WASD also does the map. Okay. Let's go interact with this wood. Poisonous vines requires a companion who can clear vines. The expanse of sweetly flowers bathe the base of the mountain in a strange honeyed smell. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the world grows blurry. Then your limbs grow tired and heavy. Every step seems more impossible than the last. Orion looks to you, his drowsy eyes rolling into the back of his head. Abby, I... Don't... It's the flowers. The flowers. Don't inhale. Something about them makes you want to fall. 
The words echo in your head as some sort of lullaby might. They chime heavily. It's deafening. The world grows dark. Your body weightless. Good night, you say to yourself in the world. Huh. The fields of not escape your cage. Oh, no. Arriving at, uh... Side quest. Escape your cage. Okay. Let's uh, level up though, shall we? Skill tree one point. Skill tree. You've earned a skill point. Each time you gain a level, you gain a skill point that you can invest in the combat, Nephilim, or magic skill tree. After investing a certain amount of points in a skill tree, you unlock the passive effect shown in the area of the skill tree. You also gain access to the next tier. So... Far spell requires five points in magic. Okay. Um, let's see. Nephilim. Twilight Might. 5% to divine and unholy power. 5% to divine and unholy resistance. Teamwork. The power and all resistances are, are increased by 5% for units who are standing beside at least one other friendly unit on the battlefield. Gain access to Twilight Essence Tier 2 spells. Gain access to Divine Essence Tier 2 spells. Primal Essence. Unholy Essence. Draws forth the power of Nevendar itself, increasing Primal Resistance and Primal Power. Combat. Initiative Mastery. For each unspent AP at the end of a turn, Aviana's initiative is increased by 5 for the next round. Hmm. Hardy. Through Military Combat and Sheer Resolve, Aviana increases her base HP by 5% and her Physical Resistance by 5%. Nimble. If an enemy lands a critical hit against Aviana, she gains a 20% chance to dodge the next incoming attack. When flanking, Aviana and her allies increase the damage they deal by 4% and all their resistances by 4%. And critical mastery, for each unspent AP at the end of a turn, Aviana's critical chances are increased by 5% for the next round. Each unspent AP. Um, you leveled up. Do you get... Where's Orion? Oh, we don't have Orion right now. Hmm. Your bleary eyes adjust to the dark around you, but they hardly need to. You know a jail cell well enough. It was the flowers in the fields of Nott. The reason you fell asleep. But then I guess you've already figured that out. Your eyes adjust to see the slender form of an elven assassin. The fields of Nott don't work on elves, but then I guess you've figured that out too. I'm Aviana of Ilion. Ah, sorry. It's been a while since I had a cellmate. I'm Cowan, former chief assassin for the Elven Alliance. Now, chief prisoner. Where am I? The stone is warm, but the air is cold. I assume we're a long way from the fields of Nott. No, but the winter winds of the mountains cut through here like a knife. This is an old dwarven outpost carved out by hill giants and yetis in the 6th epoch. Now my people use it as a prison. Hmm. Outside is the path up the mountain Gahaldorat. Not that it matters. Where are my friends? I was with Orion and some others. Short? Smells like ale. Snores like a dracolich. That's definitely Ori. <laughs> they brought you all in together, but are keeping you separate. Your friends are safe, for now. How long was I asleep? I feel like I've been out for a year. I feel I haven't seen the light of the sun or moons in an epoch. But it's safe to say you've been here a long time, yes? Hmm. Why are you here? We've been imprisoned for trespassing. What's your story? High treason. Which sounds dramatic. And it is. Well, my whole journey started because I almost killed the head of a church, and now I'm a famous criminal across the Empire. I need to get out of here. There must be a way out. Why would you want to leave? Mm, I need to save my friends. It's my fault my friends are even in this place. If anything were to happen to them... If they were your friends, then they chose to be at your side, no matter the cost. Even if the cost is a lifetime stuck in an elven prison. Hmm. Still, you look stubborn and I'm feeling generous. Let me help. 
talking jogs his memory. There's a time he'd planned to escape. Such plans were long forgotten until now. Morak key. No dwarven door can remain close to it, even a cell door. I once planned to use it, but there's a small matter of the army of guards. He reveals a makeshift key, a carefully carved rock emanating an otherworldly green glow. You'd give it to me? Either you die, in which case the Morok was of no worth anyway, or you live, in which case it served its purpose. Where do I go once I leave? When I get out of here, I'm going to need to stay away from the Fields of Nought. Then head north. Though scaling the ranges to Strong Peak is no less treacherous. It's where the leader of the White Lands resides. Can you tell me about the elves? You know a lot about the elves. You mind if I ask some questions? As it should happen, I have nothing but time. What is the history of your people? I was hoping we could talk about the history of the Elven clans. We're the oldest race in Nevendar. How much time do you have? But seriously, our people were formed by the god Galleon in the Epoch of Nirengar. The Epoch of Inception. We ruled for thousands of generations. Hmm. Dynasties rose and fell, but always the Elves remained. Until the Schism. When Galleon died, my people split in two. The noble Elves retreated into the world of men. Pathetic. All of them. Others, like myself, remained true Elves. They call us Feral. It's a slur I wear with pride. Hmm. Who leads the Elves? The White Lands must have a leader. My people bend their knee to the Twin Elders, Lario and Monwian. But the White Lands are governed by a woman named Ormerio. Ormerial. Got it. Why are the Elves in the White Lands? This is Dwarven territory. I wasn't expecting this to be an Elven stronghold. Which is precisely why it is. My people fight for the land stolen by the Empire. For the lives taken by the Legion. And for the souls fouled by Mortis. Until we can take back what is ours, we take whatever we must to survive. Okay. Let's change the there subject. There are other things to discuss. I'm leaving. Thanks for the key, Cowan. But I have to go. If you do intend to befriend my people, you'll need to do so through their leader. A chieftain named Ormeriel held at Strongbeak. Held? As is true of all of us, she is a captive. When you see her, give her this for me. He hands you a small trinket of elven design. You do not recognize it, but you notice he has another tied around his wrist. Let her know Cowan pledges himself. Go wisely, Aviana. Will do. Now, to teach a bunch of guards a lesson, if you'll excuse me. Quest Journal, your adventure continues. As you progress, you will acquire multiple quests like this one. You can track all the quests you have acquired in the Quest Journal, reach through the main menu. Quests are separated into three categories. Main, these are mandatory to continue the main story. Side quests, these are optional quests that are not necessary to continue the main story, but still have great rewards and stories. Companion quests, these are optional but very important for each companion. They delve into the personal story of each companion and will unlock powerful abilities and world skills for each. Rescue Orion. Whoops. That's F5. If it's your freedom you're after, I don't think you'll find it here. Thanks for the key, Cowan. But I have... I can't unlock his thing. Who's this? Orion exhales deeply and smiles to see you unlocking his cell. You're a sight for sore eyes. I was about to say the same thing. You all right? No, oh, don't worry about me. The gruel was delicious, and I managed to pinch this from one of the guards. He reveals a small flask which smells strangely like wine. A surprise, elven palates are known to prefer harsher things. Elven wine? The next best thing. I overheard them saying it's a potion to protect against the fields of Nod. Just a sip would do. Hmm. <laughs> you take it and drink it down, careful to leave enough for whomever may need it. Great work. Now, what do you say to getting out of here? I have a plan. We head for Strong Peak and meet an elf named Ormiriel. Apparently, she's the leader of the elves here. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Lead the way. Okay. New unit. Alright, now can I level him up? Hmm. No, just my character. That's the skill tree. Aviana, um... Class Seerus or Witch. I really don't know...
What to get? Avion and companions gain one. Oh, we can't. Ten points spent in Nephilim. Hmm. So, uh, mercenary. I don't know how we change classes. Uh, all right. It's F5. Ooh, chest. Some of these bones are old. Maybe dwarven. They've been here since Mortis killed Wotan. Oh, let's, uh... See, now we can't change the camera. Required plate boots. Okay. Um, let's see how long we've been playing. 50 minutes. Okay, I gotta save it here and say thank you for joining me. <laughs> Heck of a fun game so far. Really enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. Uh, feel free to stick with me for this LP. I'm going to be playing this a lot. I'm really digging it so far. Uh, hopefully we can get through the White Lands okay, even though it's hard level. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care. Stay tuned. Much more to come. One love.